Hey, this is Chris Strong with Rapid Scan 3D. Today, we are gonna show the Artec Leo 3D scanner, and we're gonna scan some traces of the outline that was used to make uh, patterns for boats to make some flooring. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan these. I'm just gonna go ahead and click Start. And it's a real easy process. Uh, all I need to do is point the scanner to the part and then scan. And then this part is probably gonna take me about five more seconds. And I'm done. All right, so I'm done scanning. I've imported the file here into Artec Studio and I have it shown here. Uh, we're just gonna go through a few step process. The first thing I'm gonna go do is go into my tools and I'm gonna do this global registration. I'm using the geometry and the texture uh, to do this process. And what it's doing, it's looking at these 499 frames that I have here in the workspace and doing the best fit. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and run a fast fusion. And what this is doing is taking all the points and creating a mesh. So we got our mesh here. Um, of course, we can't see the lines in the uh, file. So we're gonna go ahead and um, apply the texture. Before that, I'm gonna do a quick, fast simplification. Uh, I'm gonna make this so that it just has, let's go with about 100,000 triangles. This is gonna make it a nice light file to work with. Also applying the texture is gonna be really quick. So here it's going to simplify the mesh to make a little lighter file. Then I'm going to come into my textures. Um, I have our fast fusion and the scan that we did. And I'm actually going to go ahead and apply the texture. I'm also going to click this thing, reduce glare. Um, because I am scanning something that's translucent, uh, it's a little bit shiny. I'm just going to go ahead and um, let the software um, take away some of the glare out of here. So the texture macking is a three-step process. Uh, we're just finishing up uh, step one of, of the three. Um, the software also has the ability to in-paint missing texture. So um, if you've missed some areas and you did some hole filling and some uh, post-processing, uh, the software will actually um, find those holes and, and fill them. Uh, here, we didn't have any, so it's uh, irrelevant. All right. So now I have uh, my scans here. I have a uh, mesh. And if I come in here, I can see the texture on the file and go all the way down in here and see these nice writing and everything in here. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and export this out and we're going to go ahead and bring it into Rhino. All right, so what we have here, we're going to go ahead and take a topical view of the data and just going to click render. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just create a layer here. We'll just mark this one uh, as red so we know what we're working on. So I'm going to go in here and do some control points. and have this set up as five degrees. And basically what I'm gonna do here is just start collecting some points. Set this to disable. And I'm just gonna start collecting points around the curvature of the outline here. And you can set as many control points as you like. Um, the more it's going to kind of set those set those points 
Um, so you just need to follow that curvature going through the process. And what you'll notice is once I start going around these corners, um, those points will actually start to adapt to that curvature. And then we can start making some bigger control points uh, where we have more of a solid line that's you know a little bit more straight. Uh, of course, you're probably going to want to put some extra control points on the curvatures in those little areas. So I can zoom in, see the nice line from the data we got from the Artec Leo, um, and I can just continue here until we get to basically the endpoints were the last one that I did. I'm going to stop here really quick and I'm going to say close. I'm going to highlight them and I'm going to export this. as my DXF file, and then I can name it anything I want. So here I'm just going to put contour. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and save this as our polyline, and we're done. This uh, file now can be exported into uh, any cutting machine and used to cut your mats. Now we're also going to make a video, if you haven't seen it already, uh, of us doing the same process on the deck floor of the boat. So if you have any questions on this, please feel free to reach out to us at info at rapidscan3b.com or 562-912-3544. Thanks a lot.